When you are on the go, you need your credit union to be right there with you. Hughes Federal Credit Union makes your life easier. For 60 years, Hughes has called Southern Arizona home and has given back to our community. Isn't that who you want as your financial partner? Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with Greg Hansen. GH, busy week for the Arizona Wildcats. They lose Dante Williams, their cornerback's coach. He's taking a job and much more money at Nebraska. Um, Arizona has recruits coming in this week while they try to hustle to find another assistant coach. Is this just college football in the year 2016 or is this a sign of something worse? It's college football every year. Yeah. There's poaching. That's how the system works, isn't it? Right. Arizona poached him from San Jose State. For double the money he was making there, right? Now Nebraska does it. And Arizona, I mean, Arizona happens almost every year. Right. Is, when you lose a guy like him, obviously there are recruiting repercussions. Uh, Greg Johnson, thought to be the best you know, recruit in Arizona's 2017 class, is already decommitted and may end up following Williams to Nebraska. Um, these are guys who could play right away, could help right away. How much could this set Arizona back if they don't sort of rally and stabilize this class? Well, obviously, it could set them back in 2018, 2019, but right. probably not going to help them next year no matter who they bring in. Yeah. Um, that die is already cast, and maybe it's not going to be a very good die. Right. Maybe it's going to die. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, coaching circuits in college football is a part of the fabric. Right. And as I don't think over 35 years it really hasn't hurt Arizona because they seem to bring in quality candidates as much as they lose quality candidates. Well, and it, it seems to me, Greg, like they know their place in the pecking order a little bit. You know, you're always going to go get the guy at San Jose State, but you're almost always going to lose a guy yeah. to a place like Nebraska. I did a little research on it. Arizona has only had six one-year coaches since they joined the league. Wow. And all of those guys, it wasn't, you know, a, a freak thing. All those guys, five of them wound up in the NFL. Wow. Um, so it's, uh, they know what they're doing out there. Absolutely. You know, and Dante Williams might not be the only guy on the move, whether it's now or after signing day. You know, some coaches wait until after signing day to fire people. Uh, do you see more movement coming on the Arizona staff? I would be the least, guy, least surprised guy on the planet if Arizona doesn't change at least one more coach and maybe two more coaches. Okay. Um, I mean, part of the, the whole thing is firing and hiring assistant coaches. And when you finish last mm -hmm. and have maybe the worst defense in the school history, mm -hmm and your offense conked out, you don't think they're going to make some changes? And you go through five quarterbacks, Yeah. and none of them can do anything. I mean, if my job security was being on Rich Rod's staff right now, especially the offensive staff, I'd be very, very worried. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens there. It's, again, it's, it's really interesting to see sort of the timing of this. You know, who, if they'll wait until after they secure this class, which I, I think is almost always no. a, a bad look. That's a John Makovic look. Right, or whether they make moves here in the coming days and weeks. Lots of interesting stuff going on. Who knew? It's still football season. Yeah, for some, for some towns. <laughs> they go three and nine. It's yeah. still football season. Uh, that'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, tell me in ten words or less, what do you think of Willie Taggart at Oregon? Average guy. Ah, disagree. That's one word for me. I, I like him. I like him. He's the missing Harbaugh brother. He will play slow it down, grind it out, manly man football at Oregon. They will challenge Stanford for the roughest, toughest guys in the league. Boy, if Oregon plays manly man football, then everybody else is going to change. Then everybody else is going to change. Exactly. That'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook. I'm Ryan Finley. We will say, see you next time.